Dobar den. Thank you, Prime Minister Zayev, Deputy Prime Minister Nikolovsky, uh, for inviting me to participate together with you here at this important event today. I also want to recognize the President of the Federation of Veterans and the veterans who are present here, as well as the wonderful citizens of Ratnica. This site is a special one. It is a place where people from our countries can gather to celebrate courage and bravery in times of danger and conflict. It was on a mountain nearby on August 26, 1944, that an American B-24D bomber crashed after being hit by enemy fire while it was returning from Romania to Italy. And villagers here, at great personal risk to themselves and to their families, went up the mountain and rescued three of those survivors, bringing them down the mountain and recovering the bodies and remains of two others who were buried uh, as well. It was a profound act of humanity for which my country remains grateful. One year ago, on the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II in Europe, we had planned and intended to come to this site to mark the occasion. But another tragedy, this time the COVID-19 pandemic, prevented that from taking place. Now, more than a year into the pandemic, we have all seen how, amid the devastation and death, it is coming together by working side by side that we will bring this virus to a heel. Together, we will renew our economies, revitalize our partnerships, and learn from tragedy just as we use the horrors of World War II to construct a new order out of the ruins in Europe. This order has prevailed and expanded, and despite occasional challenges, still serves as the cornerstone of stability and prosperity for this continent, which remains a fast and steadfast partner for the United States. And most importantly, this order was based on unity, cooperation, and mutual trust. I'd like to end by expressing my hope that we can also revive this last quality. Trust has suffered during the pandemic, though to be honest, it was in need of reviving even before then. Trust within all of our societies, which has suffered at the hands of disinformation and the overall fragmentation of sources of information. Trust in governments to make the right decisions and to ensure that the interests of citizens is the topmost priority. And also trust in each other, in everyday citizens and our country. If we relearn one thing from this pandemic, I hope it is that we are all interdependent. And while people will never always agree, the basis for resolving any issue is trust. Now, although this event had to be canceled last May, I did get the chance to visit this site uh, last August uh, on the anniversary of the crash. It was a very informal occasion, and I hiked up the mountain with uh, villagers uh, and colleagues to see the crash site. It offered me an opportunity to reflect on the enormous progress that has been made since those dark days when the world was engulfed in war. Today, we stand here side by side as allies and friends, facing the challenges of the world together, exactly the way those villagers and airmen did in 1944. And I cannot think of a more appropriate place to mark this important day. Thank you all very much. Be blagodram.